Okay, you're probably familiar with installers, which allow you to install optional components at runtime. So they allow you to select between packages. For example, they'll have one package which takes the least amount of space on your hard drive, but also offers the least amount of extras. And then they'll have another package which offers a bunch of extras, but it might take up a bunch of room on your hard drive. Okay, so this is pretty typical functionality you see in most professional installers. So let's go ahead and look at how we can quickly do that with our own installer. The nice thing about Setup Factory is it makes it very quick and easy to create and designate packages. So we'll go to our Project menu and select Packages. Now we're going to add one by clicking on the Add button. And we're going to name our package Extras. Just simply by typing in Extras here. And in the description area we're going to add a description Video Tutorial and Quick Start Guide. Okay, there we go. That's our package. We'll press OK and it's created. Now all we have to do is assign the appropriate files to that package. Now in this particular case, all these files are compulsory except for the Quick Start video and the Quick Start PDF. So let's go ahead and assign them to the extras package. I'm going to double click on the Quick Start video and in the Packages tab, I'm just going to put a check mark in the extras area here. So that's the package that we created called extras. I'm going to do the same thing for the Quick Start PDF and we're finished setting up our packages. It's that simple. All we have to do now is add a screen to allow the user to toggle between that package, to select it or deselect it. So let's go into the screens area here and click on before installing and then we'll click on the add button to add a new screen and from the menu of preset screens we'll select the select packages screen. We'll double click, now we'll uh, choose the edit button with the select packages screen highlighted and we will choose extras from the packages on the right here and click the left arrow button to go ahead and add it to this screen. Okay, let's press OK and our packages are all set up and ready to go. All we have to do is move our select packages screen up by clicking this little arrow here or by dragging and dropping it. I'm going to actually drag mine to the beginning of the um, uh, order here. So it's going to come even before my welcome to setup screen. All right, I'm going to press OK now let's go ahead and build our project and take a look at how it worked. So we're going to overwrite our file sitting in the default folder. We've got it built. I'm just going to save the changes and close down Setup Factory. And here we can experiment with our installer. Now the first thing I'm going to do is install it without the packages. So let's go ahead and press Next. We'll go through the install process. Again, I've left everything here just as the default so that it's consistent with all the earlier lessons. Looks nice and familiar and we've got it installed. Now our web link launches to our website. That's part of our installer, you recall, we put that at the end. Obviously stuff like that is optional, but it's a nice touch for certain scenarios. And we can see from the program menu here that the video lesson and the quick start guide were not installed. So indeed it worked. The packages were toggled off. Let's uninstall this and go ahead and install it again. This time we will leave the package selected. Now let's take a look at the difference. So we're going to leave the extras package here checked and as you can see our description is over on the right. Let's press next and we'll go ahead through the install process and see if we get a desktop shortcut and program menu shortcut to our video and our quick start guide. So we'll press finish. Again we get the web link here which takes us to the indigoroams.com website. We'll shut that down. And as you can see on our desktop, indeed, it has installed the package. We've got our shortcut to our Quick Start video. And from our program menu here, we've got our Quick Start PDF and our Quick Start video. And if we start those, of course, they'll work perfectly well. Let's start the video up. As you can see, it works great. And that's how that works. So that's packages. As you can see, it's a super powerful way to designate files within your installers. And again, you can create as many packages you want, and you can install, um, or you can assign rather, files to any one of those packages. And it just takes a few seconds to set up, as you see. And it's a super powerful professional feature that a lot of people are really going to like. So that's how you install packages and as you notice, um, just as a final note, when we didn't install the package, it automatically knew not to install the uh, shortcuts and so on and so forth. It managed all that stuff for us automatically, right? It only took us uh, about one minute or two minutes to set up our packages and Setup Factory built all the code for us exactly how we would expect it to be. So that's packages, the basics of packages anyhow in Setup Factory. We're going to go ahead to the next video tutorial.